The fact that you can talk to people uh, who, uh, you know, who have had some impact on your career, kind of listening to how they think, uh, you know, how down to earth they are, uh, is just, um, you know, uh, great. As you know, I'm Lizzie, and I'm here to tell you about when computers can't math. So let's get started. Warning, there will be math. Let's start with something simple. One plus two, which is pretty simple. Three, let's do something a little harder. Point one plus point two. <laughs> yeah, not three. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do something a little easier. Uh, one divided by three. There's a lot of threes. This will make more sense coming soon. Uh, we can, uh, we understand how we can simplify this. We know there are infinite threes. Computers do not. We're working with floats. What is a float? Well, we have four uh, bytes to work with, specifically 32 bits. What do we do with those bits? Well, I have a sign bit. No, if it's, you know, negative or positive. Eight exponent bits. We will not be covering that right now. But we have 23 fraction bits. Aha, that's where our issue is. So what is 0.1 as a binary fraction? Well, we have the same problem, wait, repeats. So we could, you know, mathematically write that, but computers don't have that luxury. So now we only have 23 bits to work with. We have a problem, a rounding error. Now, point 0.1 is slightly larger than point 0.1 and similar for point 0.2. So now, when we add them together, slightly more than point 0.3. So now you know why point uh, 1 plus point 0.2 equals point three zero 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 one two. Thank you for watching. <laughs>